<laughs> so, um, tell me about your business. Who wants to start? Well, <laughs> <laughs> in 1947, I was going to start the taxi business because I had been in the working, driving taxi, and I decided I'd like to go in taxi business. And Norm and his wife and t lived in Peterborough, and they were there at the, our house on Ross Street mm -hmm. at the time that I said to my mom and dad, I was going to, well, I had al already ordered a new Packard taxi. Now, Packard Motors made a special taxi. Okay. And, uh, and so I had one of those ordered. And, and so my father said to Norm, well, why don't you go in with Don on that taxi? Oh, well, Norm didn't think, well, especially his wife didn't think much of that because Norm was a tool and die maker by trade. Mm -hmm. And he worked for General Electric in Peterborough. And uh, so he had a good trade, eh? Mm -hmm. And, uh, but anyway, he didn't particularly like working in a factory, so we started You Need a Taxi and uh, on Queen Street. First of all, we were across in Mr. Lingard's building, and uh, anyway, uh, we didn't really like it in there because, <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't say anything. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, Kingsley Stevenson, now he owned where Ken Roberts' store was mm -hmm. and where the CPR ticket office was. He owned that. He showed up. Yeah. And so anyway, on the end of that, there used to be on the, the, the uh, post office, there was a laneway went up there. And so there was enough room on the end of, of uh, Ken Roberts' store to build a little office. Okay. So Kingsley Stevenson built us a taxi office there. <laughs> and, that, and that's where our taxi office was. Yeah. And, uh, Did you find um, owning a business in Port Hope were there any challenges or? There were lots of challenges. Uh, I thought the time I was working in John Lester, I had a pay coming in every week. But I thought being in business for yourself mm -hmm. was the ultimate. But it's really not. I didn't. Get, we didn't get any pension when we sold out. Mm -hmm. If you work for General Motors or somebody, you got a nice pension when you retired. Uh, and there's a a lot of problems that you have to solve. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's not as great as it looks on the outside. But uh, anyway, we survived. <laughs> and like I said, there was a period of time if you had any kind of public transportation, you rode with a dermal. The taxi, the school bus, the highway coach or the town bus. Somebody, when we had the taxi business, somebody, I think our opposition, sent the feds around to check our books. They thought we were doing too well, I guess. So anyway, <laughs> he said, your expenses are awfully high. And I said, yeah, they should be about 30 to 33 percent higher than Colbert. Well, that's right. Why? I said, because of the hills. You burn a lot more gas going up and you burn out the brakes going down. That's <laughs> all, all because of the hills. Anyway, when they got through auditing, they said, I don't see anything down here for meals. I don't see anything down here for your golf clubs, your fees at the golf course. Don't you ever take anybody out there for potential customer? Yeah. But, uh, so, uh, and your private car? There's nothing here for your private car. And I, well, I don't use my private car in the business. Well, you must take customers out to dinner or whatever. So anyway, I got $500 back. <laughs> so uh, 
whoever set the federals on me, it, it, it all failed. <laughs> we uh, broke up partnerships really, and uh, Don went into buses, and yep. I stayed with the taxi business. We've got pictures out in the garage that'll show you the difference. And Don had highway coaches, and so like I say, School buses and activity buses, mini buses. Yeah, lots of buses. <laughs> lots of buses. Yeah. So, and that took a, a lot to get my my uh, charter license. Yeah. And that the, at that time, it was a real chore to get a charter license or any like every trucking company and bus company, you had to get uh, a, a permit mm -hmm. to drive. Take people in your area. Yep. And if there was somebody else in your area taking them, well, uh, they could oppose you getting a license to do the same. Eh? So there's a magazine put out by the government that I subscribed to, and that and everybody that was in the bus and business, especially if they had a charter license. Got it. It was sort of like your Bible. It yeah. you look through that as soon as you got it to see if anyone else was applying for a license in your area, <laughs> and if there was, you better get on your best lawyer and try to st stop me. So that happened to me. But anyway, uh, I won't go into that because mm -hmm. it's, it's over with now. It, it, it was pretty messy, but it's over with. And uh, and, and to get the license. I had to go out to Lakeshore Road and get every farm, I was wrapped on every door from here to Newcastle to see if they would go with me to the Highway Transport Board for a hearing, eh? mm -hmm. which was pretty hard to get anybody that's a farmer leaving early in the morning because he wants to milk his cows and whatever. Eh? Mm -hmm. And But anyway, uh, I had real, in fact, I had more than they had ever had in a meeting. I had 92 people there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So. I, you got it. <laughs> I got it. I got the license. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And, and uh, Norma and I used to, when we just had the taxis, we used to take the TCS kids on all their trips mm -hmm. to their games, Upper Canada and and uh, one up at Oakville and one at Newmarket. And then when I got my charter license, one of my buses, I painted, painted it. Their colors all but one, I painted it silver, black, and gold. Mm -hmm. And theirs was silver, black. Uh, uh, no, silver, mine was silver, maroon, and gold. Mm -hmm. And theirs was maroon and black. Mm -hmm. Their sweaters and that, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I got it painted, I took it up and had Armstrong, was a great guy there. He was one of the teachers there. So I had to had come out and look. He said, that's our colors. And I said, yeah. Well, we'll have to use you. He says, and, and, <laughs> and they'll, and all these schools will think we're coming in our own bus. <laughs> I said, yeah. And so then, then I had to sing, made Trinity College from the front of it, eh? We used to have another fellow that in the taxi, we'd take him uptown and all the way up the hill, we'll never make it. We're not, you gotta have the power. We'll never, we'll never make it. You gotta have the power. And he went on. Of course, he was half out of the bag. And uh, <laughs> yeah. we go up, and he lived down Bramley Street South. Yeah. And he'd reach in his pocket, and what are we? And so, and of course, at that time, it was only a quarter, eh? <laughs> and, so he'd have a whole bunch of change in his hand, and there you are, so you'd take out the quarter, eh? He'd open the door and throw the rest out on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> there must have been a lot of money on that boulevard. <laughs>